earthquakes. Magnificent illustrations of the powers at work on planet Earth. These ground shakings or tremors caused by seismic waves originate from fault ruptures. On average, some one million earthquakes with a magnitude of greater than two on the Richter scale, which is the scale used to measure the magnitude of an earthquake, occur every year. Of these, about 100,000 have a magnitude of three and only a thousand have a magnitude of more than five. Although earthquakes generally do not last long, extensive property damage can be inflicted in a matter of seconds. Earthquakes are to a great extent located along plate tectonic boundaries. This allows for four specific settings where these powerful forces of nature can present itself. At divergent tectonic settings such as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the East African Rift Valley, Tectonic plates are being pulled apart, causing shallow earthquakes with a focus of less than 50 kilometers to form. Deeper earthquakes are located at subduction zones where convergent plate tectonics occur. These earthquakes have a focus of up to 690 kilometers below the surface, and some of the largest earthquakes on the Earth occur at this depth. At transform tectonic boundaries, Earthquakes with a strike-slip mechanism are generated. As two neighboring tectonic plates move relative to one another, tension builds up in the rock. At the rock's critical point, it can no longer contain the tension, causing it to suddenly release. This results in the release of massive amounts of energy, causing rocks to be displaced as they slip along fractures, releasing seismic waves which travel through the earth. Geologists describe four different type of faults based on the movement type. Where two adjacent rock bodies move away from one another, it is known as a normal fault. Thrust faults, or also known as reverse faults, are representative of movements which occur towards each other, thus uplifting one part of the Earth. Transform faults form as adjacent rock bodies move laterally past one another. Oblique slip faults move both horizontally and vertically. As a fault ruptures, the area where the two neighboring rock bodies were displaced is known as the slip. This results in large quantities of energy being released into the earth in the form of seismic waves. Seismic waves travel either as body waves or as surface waves. Body waves are responsible for the initial shakings and rumblings when an earthquake arrives, where surface waves cause the destruction of property. Body waves move through the Earth's interior in the form of primary P waves or secondary S waves. P waves, which are compression forces, are able to penetrate liquid, gas and solids at velocities of up to 7 kilometers per second where S waves move at slower velocities of up to 5 kilometers per second, penetrating only solids. Thus, P waves are the first readings to be recorded at seismic stations due to its higher travel speeds. Body waves originate at the point of conception of the earthquake, which is known as the focus. From this point, the waves are propagated in all directions, Surface waves start at the epicenter of the earthquake, located directly above the focus on the Earth's surface. Two different types of surface waves can be differentiated, including love waves and rally waves. Love waves cause the ground to move in a horizontal fashion, causing buildings to tumble, where rally waves are propagated in a circular fashion, creating rolling motions on the Earth's surface. Even though no methods exist in order to prevent earthquakes from occurring, the management thereof has improved in a great sense over the past years. Emergency preparedness and reaction plans, risk analysis methods aiming to identify the nature and magnitude of risks faced by inhabitants and infrastructure, 
and policies implementing post-disaster rehabilitation and reconstruction are all examples of earthquake management methods. Earthquake engineering is another major aspect of earthquake management. Engineers attempt to construct buildings and structures in such a way as to survive the effects of earthquakes. Vital to the success of such engineering marvels are the capability of structures to still be able to move without collapsing while an earthquake occurs.